Welcome back to Retro Tech. Today I'm going to run a quick demo on the Universal BIOS, uh, the BIOS upgrade to version 4.0 we did in the last video. Today I wanted to show you how it worked. Uh, on my MVS, which is this four slot MVS that you see, I've got it just turned on and running normally. So um, just to show you some of the features, the first thing I can do is um, pull up the end game menu. Now I did that by pressing A, B, C, and start at the same time. And you can see I've got a database here. It gives me cheats, which are different for each game. But a nice cheat menu. And then C to go back. Debug dip settings, which I've not used, but if you have some reason you need to do that or patch your memory, those two options are available for the game. And then you've got the bottom, which allows you to do a couple things. First, you can do a soft reboot. You can... And then there's some other things that you can do. And, but the most important thing on here, it lets you get into some of the menus things. Yeah, but the most important is the soft system reboot and I wanted you to see this reboot because if you press reboot on your system it's going to immediately take you to the universe bio screen flash screen and then a couple seconds later it jumps into the game just normally starting so we want to do a soft reboot and while this is up we press a, B, and C together, and it gives us our Universal BIOS or Universe BIOS menu screen, where we can set up our region and do some other settings and enable some other features. But really, the region setup is the most important here. And this one, you can go to Japan, U.S., or Euro. I'm in the U.S., but you can do any version. And then you get the chance to switch between arcade, MVS mode on the game or console mode. So I'm going to keep it in arcade mode and we'll do that. And then you press C to get out and it'll boot the machine regularly after that. If you're using a MVS it's really easy to install but there are some bugs on it. Um, first off I've not been able to get uh, the console version of any game to really work properly. I've had troubles where I put it in console mode and my A button is also my pause button so it's actually controlling two things and that's the way it's been on every game I've tried. I've tried it's not said anything about it much in the manual except that there is trouble with certain games so uh, in MVS the console mode just might need to uh, either have a future bug fix or some more research I'll have to look and see if there's any other fix for that. Um, other than that though, it works great and then the cheat codes are great because it gives a lot of cheats and again it's for any game that you uh, happen to have on your machine you can do a cheat code for that's available. Um, that's a lot of fun. So I recommend this uh, of course to anybody who would want to get their or want to get the most out of their Neo Geo, whether it's an AES or MVS. I did want to say that um, the AES version and some of the MVS versions do not have the BIOS in a chip socket like this one was conveniently placed in, but it does sound like the AES has more options available where maybe less bugs are present in the AES version and you can really get a whole lot more out of the chip by using it in your AES. Um, I would recommend definitely adding a, uh, removing the BIOS chip and adding a chip socket so it'll be an easy install and that way you can swap out for future chips or you can put the original BIOS chip back in there if you want. But again, this was just a quick demo of how to use this. Let me show you, since you, if you want to stay around and see what the error is, um, I can put that on this machine and let's just go ahead and see. So I'm going to go to a soft reboot and then I'm going to access my BIOS menu by pressing ABC again and then watch 
I'll go here, US region, console version, and that's what I've got. And then I'll press C to get back out and let my machine boot. And it really doesn't matter which one of these games I select, they're all going to do the same thing. But you can see I'm in console version now, which doesn't ever give me anything like this. So watch as I start the game, you'll see here. See how it says pause when I press the A button? It also says pause when I press the select button. But A also just pauses and does A simultaneously. And that's really the way it is on every game for the MVS, or at least my MVS. So I'm going to have to do some more research because that basically makes it unplayable if you need the A button, which nearly every game uses at least the A button. So for the time being, I have to keep mine in arcade mode. And then I won't have that issue. See, no problems now under arcade mode. Don't have any pausing feature at all. So, I don't know whether that's something that's specific to this board setup, but that's the issue I've got right now. If anybody has any kind of comments on how I might be able to debug that or knows anything about it, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll be reading and I'll let you know if I find anything else out. Thanks again for watching Retro Tech again.